he did not say this on his own, but as high priest that year, he prophesied that Jesus would die for the Jewish nation. That high priest prophesied because he is high priest that year. He is a wicked high priest because he wanted Jesus Christ to die. And he knew the will of God for Jesus is to die. I mean, Caiaphas is trapped in a situation. And in that bubble of situation, he can prophesy what would happen because things are going like this. But the real will outside of this bubble of situation is the real servant of God. So you can prophesy in that situation. But that does not mean that you are right before God. You can know God's will on that matter that you are doing. But serving God is another thing. I can prophesy. I can know the will of God for a person. But that does not mean that I am serving God. Yesterday after the service, I told my wife, I said, comparing prophetic service where I prophesy to 100 people in a day is not better than yesterday's sermon-based service. Because I can work for God, I can know God's will, but serving God is the ultimate thing. I can prophesy your name, I can prophesy your age, I can prophesy your sickness and heal them and cast out your problems. But serving God is the ultimate thing. Amen. Do not seek God in what is only available to you, but also seek God in what is not available to you. If you are only seeking God in what is available to you, such as your surroundings or the things at your own church, you can only grow half. But if you also seek God in the things that is not available to you, then you'll be like what Hebrews chapter 3, verse 5 says. It says that Moses was faithful in all of God's house. A shy person cannot be used by God. Shyness traps the person himself. Be bold and courageous. God told Balaam to go. And Balaam went at the Lord's command. But as he went, he held greed of money in his heart because he knew that Balak, the king of Moab, will give him a lot of money when he go. So God warned Balaam two times using his donkey. Each time Balaam want to go, the donkey stopped two times. Two times Balaam did not discern the Lord's spirit as his heart was set on Balak's money. So now the thing is, if God stopped us two times, will we be able to discern that this is God's voice to warn us? Is our heart pure in serving God? If there is a tint of wanting fame or money or recognition from men, then you are like Balaam. If God told you to start your business and it failed twice, does that mean that God is striking your donkey? Your donkey is your business. Your donkey may be your business. Your donkey may be this, may be that. Discern what God is telling you when he has struck your business. When you start a business, your heart must be for God to make money and give for God. They put him in custody until the will of the Lord should be made clear to them. Never move until God makes his will clear to you. This is why Prophet John never puts himself in a situation whereby he has to make that decision instantly. I don't put myself in such situations. When something comes upon me, I will put that thing on hold first until the will of the Lord comes upon me to do it. What is sin is this, that whatever hinders our walk with God, that is sin. If you do not believe God or is disobedient to God, that hitch of protection will not work for you. But being deceived is also another thing that can be at work. 
to make your hedge of protection fall. You think that you must do certain things before you sleep so that you will not have nightmare. But actually, it is by faith that you are saved. So you are deceived. We do not need to do a certain ritual for, for us before we sleep so that we will not have nightmare. It is by grace you have been saved through faith, not by works. So if you think that you must do certain works before you sleep in order not to have a nightmare, you are deceived. David played music to King Saul to manage the evil spirit, although he cannot cast it out. So, those people who are ill, where deliverance is not possible, they should receive treatment. If you know that that person is King Saul, that when you pray, the evil spirit cannot leave him because of the confession or whatever, let the person receive treatment. If somebody set the trap for you, do not tell the person that God will curse you. Trust in God that his angels will witness the event in secret. If anyone forces you to go a mile, go with them two miles. But now, the Christians today, when someone forces them to go one mile, they immediately start to defend themselves and say the Lord will curse you. Go with them two miles and focus on forgiving and know the mind of God. Lord, do you want us to call on fire from heaven to destroy them? Then, Jesus Christ said to them in the next verse, You do not know what manner of spirit you are of, 